Hey yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy X going at y'all with a brand new video and as you guys can see we got some new throwback playoff moment or just throwback moments, not playoff. Um out here with a reward pink diamond George McGinnis. So if you guys are excited, make sure you guys smash the like button down below. Even if a new guy that I don't remember seeing in 2K before in Wolf Williams, as well as a new reward, Van Vliet, who looks to be a uh, spotlight reward so these are most likely gonna be some spotlights which is nice um, so starting off we do have Ruby Malt Williams who looks to be a nice a 6 foot 8 small forward shooting guard not too bad with a 6 foot 11 wingspan we have a 28 gold badges which is pretty solid the shooting ones are looking nice we have downhill we have quick first step pick dodger and we basically can get any badge we want which isn't terrible but yeah I don't love the I don't know, there's a few that I'm not liking that we don't have. Like, a nice clamps would be okay um, without the um, range extender. But, you know, it is what it is. 85 mini and 93 point shot, which is cool. 80 driving dunk. Love the 80 ball handle. We have good speed and pretty solid all around defensive stats. We just don't have the badges to really back it up. Also, go to rebound chase it with 70s and rebounding. Interesting to me. Um, tendencies, we do have some pretty solid defensive ones. An 85 driving dunk is pretty solid. Um, ooh. That's where you kill it. Set shot four is the Peja Stajakovic jump shot, and that one is, yeah, it's terrible. Um, love the moving behind the back being normal too, because that means we have the Giannis behind the back, but yeah, set shot four is terrible. Also, no go-to dunk packages with an 80 driving dunk and 85 driving dunk tendency. So that'll be interesting to see, because the dunking bag just a pretty important. So, little bit tough. Um, next up, we'll just check out the Van Vliet. He's going to be the reward for doing whatever spotlight this is. Um, obviously, you can get those done today, and eventually we'll get a free Opal, I think Clay Thompson it is for this one. Not 100% sure on that, but Van Vliet, I'm um, looking pretty solid, has one Hall of Fame badge, which is Giant Slayer, and wow, this is actually the best card we've got so far from any of these spotlights. Comes with gold deep threes, circus threes, um, difficult shots, catch and shoot, has dimer, downhill, floor general, quick first step, unpluckable, clamps, interceptor, pick dodge, yep, ooh, ooh, that's nice. That is nice. 90 mid-range, 89 three-point shot. The dunking is obviously suspect, um, but 86 ball handles, pretty solid. We can speed boost off rip, and we have 92 in all of speeds. 90 perimeter and 86 steals is going to be great. 90 on-ball steal tendency. Obviously, no dunking tendency because you can't dunk. And the Giannis jumper. Interesting. The Giannis jumper. Um, Pro 1 in our size of packages which is not bad. Um, and Pro 3 for the moving behind the back, so he does have the Giannis behind the back, um, which is pretty solid. So they basically tried to make Van Vliet um, and Mini Giannis, which is cool. Also, the normal leaner is going to be money. So Fred Van Vliet looking very, very, very solid. Um, next up, we have one of my cutest boys, Michael Carter-Williams, 6'6 PG with a 6'7 wingspan and one Hall of Fame badge, which is Interceptor. Okay, okay, okay. Um, we do have Clamps, Inter Intimidator, and Pick Dodger, which is pretty solid. Um, Dimer, Downhill, Floor General, Quick First Step as well. Got some nice finishing badges, 80 Driving Dunk, which is good. Difficult shots, catch and shoot, set shooter, stop and pop, like to see it. Um, would like to see Hot Zone Hunter and Sniper on it, but we can only add Hot Zone, so. A little tough, but also could add post drives, which is cool. 86 ball handle, great playmaking already. Obviously, you kind of expect it with a PG, but great um, speed as well. As an 84 shot, 3, 84 shot mini, so as long as the release is okay, I think this MCW could be pretty good. Um, also, 82 steel, 90 perimeter, really solid, and then 92 lateral quickness. Love to see it. Um, defensive tendencies, ooh, 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 those are, those are, those are tough. 85 driving dunk though, uh, and jump shot 31, which I think is the Eddie Jones jump shot, which um, is not terrible actually. You know, it, it, it could be worse, it could be worse. Um, moving um, behind the back is Pro 6, which I love, long at the layup package, some pretty basic but good, you know, dunking animations, which is cool. Yeah, overall, MCW looks very, very, very solid, so love, <laughs> love to see it. Next up, we do have Diamond Paul Pierce, who we might have to compare to his pink diamond to really... Okay, 2KDB crashed. I'll uh, come back when we're good. Alright, so we're back with Paul Pierce, finally. Um, six foot seven, small forward, powerful, which is cool with the 6'10 uh, wingspan. Uh, and actually, looks almost identical to the pink diamond, actually. If we can compare real quick, um, let me type in Paul really quick. Um, there's the one Paul Pierce that we just got the diamond, and then we have the pink diamond Paul Pierce here. Um, so, yeah, very slight differences. So the pink diamond's a little bit better in shooting, um, as to be expected. A little bit better in draw foul, um, identical playmaking. 
Um, athleticism, just slightly faster in strength, um, slightly better stamina, slightly better hustle, slightly better perimeter, slightly better lateral quickness, um, and slightly better potential, which means nothing. Um, badges are identical, that's what I thought, and obviously the tendencies are going to be yeah, the same, as well as animations. All the same, so basically, this p diamond pole pierce is just a slightly worse version than the pink diamond, and the pink diamond kind of unused, well not really unusable, it's kind of just relegated to being a 3 and D option, which looks like that's all this pole pierce is. Um, unless you had quick first step, he could be amazing, he could be great. Um, Pro 6 behind the back is obviously awesome, the pole pierce jumper is pretty decent this year, and you know, decently quick, looks nice, got range. Good to be a solid 3 and D option, but for the most part, I don't see too many people adding quick first step, so not a card that I would recommend picking up, but yeah, that's personally just me. Um, next up is Diamond Allen Houston, a 6'6", six 6'9", six, six shooting guard who is beautiful because of the right Allen jump shot base, and you can see 13 Hall of Fame badges, all of them are in shooting. My guy is a shooter. Also, silver clamps, go quick first step and downhill. He's basically going to be just another um, Michael Ray Richards, not Michael Ray Richards, um, Oh, I'm Michael Red. There we go. Um, now for the Hall of Fame badge, you can see them all. Um, Dead Eye, Catch and Shoot, Blinders, all pretty solid. Um, Hot Sun Hunter, awesome. Sniper, awesome. Volume Shooter, awesome. And Gold Deep Threes, loved Gold Quick for Step and Downhill, all looking amazing. 85 Driving Dunk, pretty solid. 86 Ball Handle, great playmaking, and a 95 Shot Three. I mean, that's beautiful. Also, 74 Interior Defense, really solid. Defensive Tendencies, pretty good. 95 Driving Dunk Tendency, pretty solid, but very basic like very basic dunks so we're gonna have awesome dunking ability but not really gonna dunk that crazy so it's interesting athletic two on the leaner same one as Dwayne Wade which is a pretty solid one and same one as Kobe which is cool and obviously the Ray Allen jump shot base which is just I mean it's amazing so Allen Houston looking to be an absolute demon um, next up or last but not least for the main throwback moments set is going to be Jason Kidd's pink diamond Six foot four, six eight wingspan, at twelve Hall of Fame badges. Actually, thirteen on next gen, which is cool. And ooh, looking nice. We have Dimer, downhill, quick first step, needle threader, clamps, intimidator, and pick dodger all in Hall of Fame. Also, tear dropper, which is awesome. Has deep threes, difficult shots, stop and pop, catch and shoot, acrobat, giant slayer, pro touch. I mean, really checking off all the boxes right now for Jason Kidd. Um, ninety three point shot, ninety four midi, ninety sevens in the speed. The playmaking's insane. Ninety eight perimeter, ninety eight steal, a seventy interior defense, even as an eighty driving dunk. And the defensive tendencies, Lord, are those beautiful. Five foul, five hard foul. We have an eighty contest shot, eighty block shot, ninety eight steal, ninety eight take charge. Man, that that is really good. And an eighty five driving dunk. Um, no, ooh, no defensive tendency or no dunking packages. So. It'll be interesting to see if he actually dunks that consistently. Um, Pro 5 behind the back got killed, so it's really not that great. Um, normal leaner is actually super solid. And the Jason Kidd jump shot, it's okay. It's never one that is obviously top tier, but it's it's okay. It, again, I think it's like Paul Pierce. It's better this year than it has been in previous years because of the shot stick, but it's not exactly like amazing. But this Jason Kidd overall is actually looking super, super, super solid. Um, probably going to be expensive just because he's a lock and reward, but I don't expect him to really be... Um, sought after and last but not least is going to be the reward pink diamond george mcginnis a power forward center who honestly looks to just be really solid <laughs> like really solid um 14 all of fame badges rebound chaser catch and shoot corner splash is all really good and you can see the rise of them all in finishing has every single finishing badge besides tear shopper which you really don't need on a six foot eight power forward um really good shooting stats we have downhill quick first step and even dimer clamps on him intimidator looking beautiful um let's see if we're missing any key badges honestly yeah not that bad um i think defensive leader and heart crush would be nice but definitely not needed and obviously badging up some extra shooting badges wouldn't it be too bad like a sniper because he does have an 84 shot three and an 88 midi i mean the finishing is insane everything's 90 plus besides his 81 draw foul 86 ball handles so you can speed boost already awesome speed 85 interior pretty low perimeter but a good 90 block and great rebounding um tendencies 93 contest shot 93 block shot really good dunking tendencies signature animation jump shot 36 the walt frazier jump shot which is pretty solid if i if i'm gonna say myself normal leaner pretty solid and his dribbling moves are pretty average so not going to be like an insane dribbler but not going to be terrible it's just kind of like he can speed boost really um I don't say I wouldn't say this George McGinnis jumps out at me of being like amazing or next level. Um, none of these cards really do it besides maybe Allen Houston and Carter Williams for like a budget um, tall guy. 
But let me know what you guys think of these down in the comment section below. Make sure you guys like the video, you guys did enjoy, and subscribe if you guys are new. If I had to tell you who to pick up, um, probably Alan Houston and MCW. Jason Kidd, if you can get over the jump shot. Everybody else, nah. And definitely don't lock in for that George McGinnis. Subscribe if you guys are new. We are on that road to 10K subscribers. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see y'all in the next video.